Aspiring Rohingya teen builds hydraulic mini excavator from scratch. An aspiring 15-year-old Rohingya refugee has constructed a small-scale hydraulic excavator from spare parts in his refugee camp. When I was in Myanmar, I saw an excavator digging and thus I was inspired to make a toy like this excavator. After coming here to Bangladesh, I collected some small pieces of steel and I made different parts of it. To operate this toy, I used water to run in injection syringes. I found that the syringes worked to drive the toy both up and down. Then I applied this mechanism to the toy. Toyeb only received a few years of rudimentary education in Myanmar before he and his family was forced to flee to Bangladesh in 2017. Since then, Toyeb has only attended a few classes provided by UNICEF at his camp. But his schooling is currently on hiatus due to the COVID-19 pandemic. Since he was small, he has always played with toys and tried to figure out how to make a mechanism like this that moves. I feel very happy seeing him doing this, as he is also happy. More than a million Rohingya are still living in squalid camps in northern Bangladesh, compromising the world's largest refugee settlement. With little prospect of returning to Myanmar, they are most likely denied citizenship and other rights. The vast majority fled to neighboring Bangladesh during a military crackdown in Myanmar in 2017. The United Nations has said that Myanmar carried out a crackdown with genocidal intent. Myanmar denies genocide, saying that it was waging a legitimate campaign against insurgents who attacked police posts. Aspiring. Aspiring. Hydraulic. Hydraulic. Rudimentary. Rudimentary. Hiatus. Hiatus. Squalid. Squalid. Insurgent. Insurgent.